Hello and welcome, thank you for joining me. I'm Spider47 and today we're back with Switzerland. We also are at war with the Burgundians. So, I'm gonna let time tick up a little bit. We'll bring down the speed. And Austria has joined. Württemberg has joined. All of the French vassals have joined. And we are now at war with a decent amount. So, hopefully we can release Ansbach. Well, we'll see. We might just return that to the Palatinate. Make them happy. We're going to go ahead and fight the Württemberg military right here. Let's get out of this window. Let's go say hi. Alright, um... I'm curious. France has claims on a few of these provinces. So we may just want to siege them down. We'll fight that. There's the Burgundian force. I'm curious where they're gonna go. Oh. That was quick. There's Austria. Where are y'all going? You want military access, of course you can have it. I don't think we'll be able to hold us out. France is going to go ahead and just see Germany. You know what, we're gonna retreat. Is that Austria? Oh, their morale is pretty low. Come on. You're back. Let's march back on in there. Where's the French army going? So there's a decent amount. They're just sitting there. Burgundy is waiting. Guys, go. Wonder if we can pick up the Austrian forces. Austria is giving us subsidies. That's nice, thank you. Just lost a bunch of. And France is giving us subsidies. That is awesome. We're gonna sit here. Well, since you're giving us subsidies, let's go ahead and train a fruit. A uh, few mercenaries. We're gonna sit here. And hope that Austria and France help us fight this army. So we definitely have a morale advantage, but the Burgundians have a tactic advantage. So where y'all chasing that army? You two come here. Oh, how about you come here? And then we come here. Alright, improvements in government technology. A few local workers in the administration have discovered that they claim what they claim is a more efficient way to handle documents. Obviously, they do not know what they're talking about, but can it hurt to let them try their new ideas? Spare no expense, gain 50 admin power, or just gain 10. So just be cautious for the time being. Alright, we're going to come here. Provence is improving relations with us, and we're just going to send you this way. I don't think you're going to have any use. Alright, so we won that battle. And then... We're going to wait here and see if the French catch this army. So they'll be gone on the 17th, and they'll make it there on the 16th. So then we'll march up this way. And what are we losing? Five ducats because we're spending almost seven on reinforcements. And we will arrive, what, on the 18th? There we go. Alright. Should be able to get this pretty easily. Let's group you together. 
And the worry is always that, uh... Can we join this other fight? Yes. Go on, get some prestige. You still have a mission to get prestige? No, of course not. Uh, we're not gonna vassalize Ulm. There's no point in that. Alright. Let's march back over here. And... We were one over the force limit anyway. So let's get a full regiment out of this. 790. We'll do this. Combine you. Grab you. You come over here. Come down. Come down. Actually, we're going to group you together. We're going to uncheck you for the time being. Select this army. We want. We want to go ahead and build another. Yeah. Let's get rid of you. Let's build another mercenary unit. You come replenish. And we'll let the Austrians help us siege this down. have ended their war. It's fine. Is Austria City in Bohemia or something? I don't think so. So there's always the worry that the Bohemian army marches back in. Alright. Burgundy's been allowed to regroup. Now, do we want to take anything from Wittenberg. I have to say, I'm not too pleased with the fact that Burgundy is not, or that Austria is not fighting the, um, oh, Bohemian army, yep. So, you're going to make it on the 13th of October. Here, y'all are going to need to group up. What do we have here? Let's scare it off Hansbach. Where else are you going to go? You're going to arrive on the 1st of November, and you'll be gone on the 31st of October. Too much this way. We are still improving relations. Let's go ahead and call those. Alright, who else do we need to improve relations with? 27 with Wittenberg. 13 with you. But you didn't matter. Cohen was at 9. What does the map mode look like? Milan's pissed. Bavaria is still pissed. Let's improve relations with Bavaria. So I think they're going to get very mad here in just a second. Uh, can't do anything about you. We're not worried about you. Milan. Hmm. At war with you. This is over here. You. You're a pretty big player. So we'll improve relations with you here in a second. And since we are at war, I want to see the train map. So you decided to leave. You'll arrive on the 6th. You'll be gone on the 5th. It's going to sit over here. So we'll arrive on the 9th. They'll arrive on the 14th. This could become painful. But it will give time. Well. Wow, I caught him. 
let's join in on this fray, since we're not going to take as many casualties. Alright. Hopefully we can get Bohemia out of this real quickly. Sit back. Do a little bit more sieging. We're at three percent, and Burgundy's already low. Still have a twenty-four stack up here. Austria has three units over here. All right, y'all can leave again. Ulm is improving relations. It's winter time. Become a very bright map here in a second. So, how much are we spending now? Two ducats. We're still losing about two ducats. That's fine. It's the mercenaries that we've hired. And how long do we want to stay in this war? You're at war against Mainz, Hess, and Bavaria. Hmm. Alright. So, Minster lost that war. Well, regardless, we're going to improve relations with you. And we're going to improve relations with you. Alright. Mantua is improving relations with us. That's fine. Unfortunately, though, it's not going to help us. Again. Alright. So, we have finished that siege. Let's go ahead and grab you back. They went ahead and left. Now let's see, what do we want out of this piece still from you? We could full annex you, giving us what? 18 aggressive expansion. I think we're just gonna wait. Um let's march you up here. And let's come over here as well. Alright, so we have finished that siege could take that and that and that would give us how much aggressive expansion 26 inside the empire with our neighbors do I want to do that is that worth it maybe we can just take some money off them pay 55 ducats you know what sue for peace we don't want full acquisition we want you as a vassal. How about war reparations? And your 58 ducats. Alright. That pays for the mercenaries for a little bit. And we'll go sit on Luxembourg. Let's go ahead and try to siege down this capital. Maybe Austria will move. Although, I don't see why they would. There's a change recently. Let's get this battle done. And let's go siege down this province. Alright. So there was that. We're going to try it on the off chance, but I don't think we'll actually get anything out of this. And then we'll come back down here. Yeah. Figured as much. That army just squished. Let's go sit on their vassal. Well, we're waiting for this battle to finish. So we'll take attrition. So you can't have two separate battles in the same province. That's neat. 
Alright, unfortunately Francis is going to be pissed because we're not going to give him anything. Although I don't think they have any cores, so... Oh, we don't want you sitting here. Come on. Walls are busted in... Should we assault? Definitely don't have enough manpower. Let's go into Liege. Farm some more prestige, and we have good debates. Some members of the parliament are having some concerns regarding our increasingly bad reputation. They are claiming that it's having a negative effect on our trade relations. The question has been raised numerous times in the past, but not that many have thought it any, of any consequence. This time the matter is causing some really heated debates, though. Perhaps we should try to settle things before they get out of hand. We lose 46 nuggets for stability. Well, since we're getting subsidies, let's go ahead and lose the uh, stability. Let's go ahead and lose the ducats. Um, let the day take over. All right. I don't want to stay at war too long with Burgundy. The longer we stay, the bigger the risk that the Burgundian inheritance happens, and then this war will have been for nothing. Alright, as it stands right now, we could take this province, and 82 ducats, and war reparations, wow, we get this as well, <laughs> positive 90, is there anything else that we would want? Not really. What if we tell them to release this miner right here? I'd rather make sure France doesn't gain any more territory. Hungary declared on Bohemia works perfectly. So we're waiting for 52% war score. It should happen as soon as Austria finishes this. this siege right here. Cabinet dynamism. A combination of just correct people in our cabinet can create conditions, uh, conditions, conditions for a nice little boost in tax income. You will be pleased to hear that this has just happened. Oh, nice. We gain some. Oh, we didn't finish this war fast enough. Come on. Just one more siege. Well, we're going to have to wait until the next episode. Why are you sitting on me? Go away. We don't need any extra attrition. Let's go ahead. Let's go back to our capital. We'll sit there. Alright. We'll finish up this war in the next episode. If, you've seen what, if you like what you've seen so far, leave a like, leave a comment. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.